Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC and welcome to the June unboxing of the SMKW Army Care Package. Uh, this is kind of last minute. This thing actually came, well, less than about an hour ago. And I had taken off a couple of days to do some stuff around the house. And I'm like, oh, I was not expecting it this early. I honestly really didn't think it would ship until tomorrow. I know the last time, I know they say they ship the first Wednesday of the month. But the last time, I think it might have been the the first Wednesday might have actually been the first a couple months ago or whatever it was. And they waited a week. Well, here we go. It's here. I'm good, Knife Dude. How are you? So, this is the SMKW Army care package the oc level you see we got a little bit of love from the post office there so as always we will be taking a look at it i will show you level by level i will show you the gi level i'll show you the oc level i do not get the general's box but i will definitely show you what the knife was in the general's box with our packing list hey what's up mark you know what? I was about to tell you that. Today I'm going to be using this little Puma SGB Whitetail Featherweight. Uh, this one was provided by SMKW, as a matter of fact, for review. So this one will be given away sometime here in the future. But let's... Let's just get into this box, because right now it's washing out my light really bad. <laughs> Got everything all jacked up on the table because the box was so big. But, hey, Menace, how you doing? George, how's it going? We are going to take a look. I am opening up the box right now. And we'll see what's in this guy. Yeah, like I said, this is kind of short notice, but I've been kind of having fun doing these live with you guys. And seems like they've been going over pretty well. So I figured we would do it again. Okay. So we've got a lot of packing. Get that out of there. Of course, we always have our packing list. Our eyes only. I haven't had a lot of experience with it, Knife Dude. It's carbon steel, so... Hey, Manny. Hey, T.I. What is up, Chris? How you doing? You should be getting a package here pretty soon. Your goat back. But there you go. If you would like to pause and read, that is if the camera will focus and allow you to. But you know what? We're just going to get into it. How's that? Rhino, how you doing? Glad to have you. <laughs> well... I like going, I like doing the lives, Mark. I like being able to talk to you guys. It's always, always fun. So, all right. So, as always, guys, we're going to start out with the GI level box. And the first, oh, let's get out the, let's get out the stuff. Where's, where's all the stuff? What do we got there? Oh, another one, a little pocket sharpener. They always throw in. The little swag and stuff. Let's see what our swag is. Oh, we got a cleaning cloth. That's always good. Some more candy. This is always fun to find out what the... Oh, Leopold Scopes. Cool. Right on. What do we got? Gerber, maybe. That could be a... That could be some foreshadowing there. We'll see. I don't think there's a Leopold Scope in there, though. But that would be nice. Hey, what's up, Zach? Yeah, kind of last minute. I wasn't really expecting it. So, what's up, Tobias? How you doing? Ted, how's it going? Oh, you liked your first month. Well, good. Good, Ted. Right on. Glad to hear that. I'm digging for all the swag and goodies right now. We'll get all that out of there. All right. I think that's it. So, so is this the first one? Yes, it is. So, the... Ooh, ooh, I'm already liking this. Red pick bone. Hey, Cauldron, what's up? 
Ooh, I'm liking this. So, what do we got here? Ooh, hoo, 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 looky here, looky here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Very nice. I know my lighting is a little off, guys, because it's daytime and there's sunlight coming in. There's a sunlight coming in the window. So, oh, stormy. Yeah, we've been having rain all day today, too. What you have here is the RR1685 Rough Rider Red Pickbone Sow Belly 448 stainless steel blade. Match stripe poles and half stops. Genuine red pick bone on the handle. Nickel silver slant R bolsters. Nickel silver pins and shield. Sal Valley Stockman has a sheep's foot blade, spade blade, and a clip point. Three and three quarter inches closed. MSRP on this is $14.99. SMKW price $12.99. Hey, Scott, what is happening? Hey, William. Oh, nice. Now, you know, sometimes on these Rough Riders, we see a little bit of gapping and stuff, but, you know, for a $12, $13 knife. But you know what? There's not. There's a little bit. Uh, there's a little bit right there. But not too bad. What do we got here? We got our little spade blade on the sow belly. We got our little sheep's foot. And before I hurt myself, there's our clip. But oh, look at there! It says red pit bone. Nice, very cool. Hey, Penny. I know you don't like the R on the bolster, bias. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. That is a sweet looking little knife. Hey, Peter. Hi. Grim, hello? Hello, hello? What, what? You said what? What, what? <laughs> okay, what is next? Oh, well, I'm pretty sure this is a freebie as well. They've been doing a lot of these. These Mossy O cats, those are pretty cool. Very cool. Can't be a nice hat for a freebie. So good. Sorry, catching up. Hey, Jesse, what's up? Catching up on the comment. Next. Whoa. Holy smokes. Wow. Okay. Check that out. Bam. We have a camp axe. Holy smokes. Apparently it is made in El Salvador. Cool. All right, let me get it in the camera there while I read this. All right, we'll just do this. We have the Marbles Camp Axe. Camp Axe features a hand forged 1045 carbon steel head. Six and a quarter by four inches. American hickory handle. Lanyard hole. 15.9, just shy of 16 inches overall. The Marbles Camp Axe is perfect companion for your next outdoor adventure. Adventure. Did I say invention? I did say invention. Adventure. That's what I meant to say. Wow. Look at the smell test. What am I smelling for? How does the wood smell? Gotcha. It doesn't really smell like anything. No. No, it doesn't really smell like anything. No, sorry. Dude, that is a sweet little axe. There's your lanyard hole, as it said. Yeah. Holy smokes. Granola time. All right, Cauldron. Dude, I am digging this. Man, this thing. Hang on, I'm going to take it off. Oh, man. I had to put it in my right hand. Oh, man, that feels good. 
Oh, yeah. Good weight to it. Uh-oh. <laughs> right on, Charles. You haven't mixed a whole lot. Man. I'm oh, sorry you don't have a picture right now. That's nice. I am di definitely digging that. Holy smoke. This is the GI box, guys. So, on the Marvel's Camp Axe, the MSRP is $25.95. Smoky Mountain Knife Works price is $20. Bucks. Dude, $20 bucks for that axe? For that Camp Axe? That's pretty nice. Dang. That's really cool. I am digging it. Um, okay, one more. One more in the GI level box. Oh, this one's going to go. Oh, okay. Well, you guys know I just did my uh, video on SOG, right? I just released that, how the XR, the Terminus XR saved SOG for me. Well, yes, it is, Charles. That's the Marbles Camp Axe. $20. Smoky Mountain Knife Works price. Uh, looks like we're going to have a couple of SOGs coming up. First off, we have the SOG Aegis FL. FLK, excuse me. Well, knife, okay. Uh, the SOG Aegis FLK features a 3.4 inch 8 CR 13 MOV clip point blade. Satin finish, manual flipper, frame lock, stainless steel handles, tip-up carry, 4.6 inches closed, 8 inches overall, and it weighs 5.2 ounces. Perfect little EDC for your pocket. MSRP is $34.95. They do not give a Smoky Mountain Knife Works price for this. So maybe, maybe it's the same price. <laughs> Thanks, Zach. <laughs> Thank you, man. You did not have to do that. No, not another XR. That would have been nice. Let me catch up on some Saturday Axe Live. There you go. Yeah, that's a good. Well, old, new. Yeah, it's in there, though. So this will be interesting. This will be interesting. I will be breaking that out. Checking it out, of course. But we will see if it's old SOG. Well, we might have an idea, but that's okay. It might be. It might be, Charles. We never know. So what you see in front of you, if you can still see it fairly well, Oh, yeah, it's regular time. SKL will be regular time this week, Zach. 10 p.m. Pacific. Yep. Yes, I have. So now I need a drink. Mm. 10 p.m. Pacific for SKL Saturday night, my friend. Right on. Well, that's good. That's good. My experience with SOG prior to the Terminus XR wasn't that great. I... Uh, I'm just honest. Hey, Bunzo. Oh, you have a surprise planned. Oh, geez. Did you hear that, guys? You better make... Yep, 10 p.m. Pacific this coming Saturday. And it sounds like Zach's got a surprise, so oh, man. Oh, man. So, as I said, guys, what you see in front of you is the GI level box. And I tell you what, guys... Uh, GI level box is $29.99, you know, tw it's right around $35 after shipping. Um, man, the axe almost makes that a loan for me. I know they say it's $20, but, you know, as always, guys, I do, I do pay for this box. It's not provided to me, so I am very, very vested in the value in the box and i think the gi level has a fairly decent value this month 
completely my opinion. You may agree, you may disagree, but I think the value is there. I, I'm with you, Cauldron. I'm with you. The, the axe does make, well, that and the red pit bone. I mean, come on, red pit bone. Yeah, it does. So next, we are going to move on to the Officer's Club box. And guess what? We've got another SOG. What is that? <laughs> okay, I might have to open this box, guys, because I'm hearing some rattling. That's not a, usually a good sign. But... <laughs> Zach, thank you, man. Thank you so much. Oh, you're doing one on Thursday and Friday? Okay. Very good. Hey, Scott, how you doing? Yep, the G.I. Joe box. There you go. So, in this one, starting off the OC level box, we have the SOG Trident Elite. Designed to tackle any emergency, assisted opening mechanism, uh, cutter, seatbelt cutter, glass breaker. Features dual thumb studs, patented assisted technology for quick one-handed opening. Cutter built into the handle, can cut thin ropes, belts, webbing. Uh, Built-in glass breaker. Features a 3.7-inch OS-8 recurve blade. And the arc lock, 4.8 inches closed, 8.5 inches overall, weighs 4.4 ounces. MSRP on this knife is $76.95. SMKW price is $39.99. So, you know, I am going to open this because I did hear some rattling. Um, well, I try to update mine, Charles. I try to update it on the compute community page of my of the channel. So that's where I usually update the SKL lives and all of that. This one was last minute, so I'm not surprised that you, you know, kind of caught this one. All right, I'm, I got to destroy the box, guys. This is not working. So, but that's where I try to update it. I try to update it on the community page. So, oh, what is that? Do I need that? Nope, don't need that. All right. Well... It was rattling, but it's not rattling now. Not rattling yet. Oh, okay. I see what was rattling. Nothing major. Nothing major. That was the blade protector. That's what was rattling. Okay. All good. So there you go, guys. That is the SOG Trident. Now, yes, I have had a SOG Trident before. And all I'm going to say is... The SOG Trident is one of the reasons why I did the Terminus XR video. That's all I'm going to say. You can infer whatever you would like from that. Assistant opening. Oh, I, oh, there it is. There's the arc lock. I mean, it does snap out there pretty good. We got your glass breaker right there. Assisted opening, you got your seatbelt cutter. You do have a lock to lock it shut. You do, you've got the SOG pocket clip. How's the blade play? Um, no side to side. Tiny, tiny bit of up and down. Tiny bit of up and down. <laughs> That's good, Peter. I mean, I'm I'm not gonna blow I'm not gonna blow smoke, guys. I mean, there's a reason I did the video I did on the Terminus XR, and unfortunately, the Trident is part of that reason, but. I know some people said they really like it. So, you know, we all have our different tastes, and that's good. That's why there's so many different knives out there. So, one more item, guys. 
and I'll let you get back to your night. Ooh, ooh, I like this one. I like this one. There you go. Read the words. Read the words. All right, comments. Well, that's good. That's fine, Charles. I like I said, some people do like them, and that's that's great. Uh. Oh, well, that happens, Larry. That happens all the time. I mean, I love Monterey Bay Knives, but, man, if you're not on top of them when they release them, they're gone. So. Oh, <laughs> Cauldron. Yeah, that's a, that's a good point, Charles. Very good point. Hey, Mark, what's going on? Nada, what's happening? But here we go. Oh, it's a blur. It's another blur. Oh, there's our. Don't eat that. Hey, I had one of those MTEC button locks. That wasn't too bad. You know, for a budget knife, that wasn't bad at all. Oh, nice. Very nice, man. The blacked out blur, it's going to. It's going to make the camera fade. Man, nice. I actually just had one of these. Got it from my good buddy Brad over at Mild Manor EDC. It was partially serrated. I didn't know what I was going to do with it. I ended up selling it for what I bought it for. And now we've got another one. Nice. Yes, that marbles hatchet is really cool. Very cool. Ken Onion Design, of course. This is the 1670 BLK. I think the one I had before was like the... Oh, it was Tiger Stripe. It was the Tiger Stripe one I had, wasn't it? The black Tiger Stripe. The TSST, something like that. But, oh, yeah, snappy, snappy. That is very true, Charles. That is very true. Super snappy. Set up for tip down right now, but you can do tip up, right hand. Oh, yeah. Super snappy knife. Cool. What do we got here? MSRP is $119.99. SMKW price $62.99. Right on. Well, there you go, guys. That is your OC level box. Includes everything in the GI and the OC level. Just the link, Bunzo. Just the link. I'm working. Hey, Dylan. Where's Dylan? Did I miss him? Hey, Dylan. Hi. I'm sorry I missed you, man. Good to see you, buddy. Yes, Mr. Dylan Mallory is in the house. Thank you very much for stopping by, man. Greatly appreciate it. So we will do a quick rundown. In your GI level box, we have the Rough Rider Red Pickbone Sow Belly. Nice. Very nice. Digging it. Except for Tobias. Doesn't like the slant our bolsters. <laughs> We've got our swag. We've got some stickers. We've got some Gerbers. I thought there was some going to be some foreshadowing with the Gerber sticker, but we didn't have a Gerber. That's good. we got another freebie Mossy Oak hat. That is always awesome. we got the really... I'm digging this. The Marbles Camp Axe. Yeah, buddy. Nice. Very nice. The SOG, I'm going to go into it with an open mind, of course. I have not had an Aegis before, so it'll be a good one to check out. That is your GI level box. Guys, for me, the value, the value is there all day long. $29.99, $35 for shipping. Yeah. 
It's it's a good box. GI level, great value. Moving in to the OC level, we have the SOG Trident. I've had a Trident before. I've talked about the Trident before. Again, there was a reason why I made by the Terminus XR saved SOG for me video. Enough said. And then the Kershaw Blur. Really, really nice way to top this box off. The Kershaw Blur. The OC level box, $99.99. So it costs you $99.99. Is the value there? Hmm. Yes. Yes, it is. And I'll, I'll tell you why it's there. Because even though SUG may not be my favorite brand, a lot of people like them. So, and then to top it off with the Kershaw, yeah, I think I got my money's worth. You may not agree. You can agree. You can disagree. That's fine. But I still believe I got my money's worth for everything that's in the box. Would I have chosen a SUG Trident? No, I would not have. And that's why a lot of people shouldn't get subscription boxes because you can't choose what you want but that's neither here nor there i think the value's there oh and what was in the general's box so let's take a look an se6 3d handle oh new from se the workhorse features a 6.5 1095 carbon steel blade desert tan coating full tan fixed blade 3 16 inch with a full flat grind. The triple robot handles are 3D machined, Coyote Brown and Black G10. And the exposed tang features a lanyard. 11.75 inches overall. Comes with a molded composite sheath. Made in the USA SE6. Can serve as a primary wilderness survival knife or be outfitted with your modular system for duty carry in a tactical environment. MSRP 21806. Smoky Mountain Knife Works price, $119.99. Wow. An SE6. An SE6. What do y'all think about that? That would bump the price up to $200 for the General's box. Wow. That's... Oh, so you got the General's box, Ted? Very nice. Very nice. I have I have been I've been contemplating upping up to the Well, if you have one, yeah. Getting one probably wouldn't be that. Yes, I get that, Peter. Thank you. I, I, I get it. I do, I get it. Um I would like it because I don't have one. <laughs> But, yeah, I mean, overall, again, I think the values are there. Um, like I said, agree, disagree, let me know down in the comments as always. So, what do you guys got going on today? What are you guys carrying? We're done with the, we're done with the boxes. So, what are you guys carrying? Let's talk a little bit. Let's chat. I like chatting with you. I got a little bit of time left. Uh, Essie makes some really good knives. I have I have nothing against Essie knives. Oh, right on, Bunzo. Cool. Big lighter, very good. Kaiser Vanguard Veloc two. Hey. Cool. That's awesome, Grom. Fifth Pony Guru PM2, right on. Making Dinner Bug Out, right on. What else we got? Mannix 2, M4. Moen Works. Oh, Mongoose, nice. Ganzo's, very cool. Microtech, oh, and the Centros, of course. 
Got to be carrying the Centros, Dylan. Tucson makes some really, really good knives, Larry. I've been impressed. Still haven't seen nearly as many as I should, but Griptilian. Mini Freak and the Titanium 940. I saw that picture today. Yes, indeed. Very nice, Zach. Very nice. I was carrying this, the Puma SGB Whitetail Featherweight, and the Savibi Plethoros. That is actually down by my computer downstairs right at the moment. So very good, guys. Yes. SKL this week will be, hey, JCB, Shaka, nice. Skaha, excuse me, Skaha. Um, 10 p.m. Pacific time, normal time this week. Yes, I agree, Mark. I love my Centros. The very good knife. Very good knife indeed. Mini Feldspar, good. I actually have one of those coming. I played a raffle this week. Well, I played a couple of raffles this week, but I ended up winning a raffle this week. I won eight knives in a raffle, so that's cool. Looking forward to getting them, checking them out. And pretty much it was every every knife was one I'd never had before. So I've had the Feldspar, but I haven't had a mini Feldspar. So that's coming. That's coming. So, yeah, Long Island Knife Guy, Lou and those darn raffles, man. I usually play a couple over the weekend just to see. So, hey, Super K, what's up? Thank you very much for sending me that hummingbird, man. I am enjoying taking a look at it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, what raffle was it? It was a... Oh, man, there was like three CRKTs, the Mini Feldspar. There was an Emerson... Kershaw Emerson. What else? A couple of other small, a couple of other knives. I can't remember. Yeah, it was a good one. It was a good win. It didn't cost very much to get in, and it was a really cool win. So I'm glad. Hey Jesse, what's up, buddy? Right on, Larry. Very cool. But all right, guys. It's probably time to wrap this up. You know what? I really appreciate you all showing up. I know it was kind of last minute. Yeah, it was a winner take all. That's what it was. That's what he called it. So, all right, Grom. We'll talk to you later. Yeah, I'm getting out of here myself. I got a... Nellie's working late tonight, so we got to figure out what we're doing for dinner and stuff. So, really appreciate you all jumping on, checking out things with me today. Hope you all have a fantastic rest of your week. Again, remember, Saturday Knife Live this Saturday, 10 p.m. Pacific Time. Hope to see you guys there. As always, have a, give me a comment, like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you next time, guys. Bye-bye. Oh, and the surprise. Yes, there's a surprise. Zach has a surprise. So it's definitely an SKL to make because Zach's got a surprise. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.